Hey, what's going on my ninjas? Welcome back. So in this video, what we're gonna talk about is how to get your product created. So by now, hopefully you have gone to Amazon and you have picked a product that you want to start selling. If you haven't done that yet, go do that right now. You know, or pause this video, go get that done, then come back here. Now honestly, this shouldn't be like a big elaborate process. You know, give it a few minutes, follow that those steps that I just gave you in the last video, use those guidelines of, of what to go through, you know, look for things that are lightweight, things that cost under $50, things that you can make a good profit on, things that are unbreakable, and all those other qualifications I gave, and just go down that list, find something that matches it, and then just run with it and move forward, okay? So you don't gotta spend a whole bunch of time on that, literally spend like five minutes max get a product, then let's get started and let's go get this done. Because And the reason why I'm saying get it done quickly is because this is kind of the area that a lot of people get hung up on. They get so freaked out and worried about trying to pick the perfect product idea that they don't do anything, right? They'll go into research mode and spend like the next three months researching product ideas and trying to find the perfect one to do. And meanwhile, it really doesn't matter. You know, had they have just picked something even if it wasn't that perfect, who cares? Pick something, use this method that I'm showing you to get your product on top of Amazon, make tons of money, and then move on. And then in that time, you could have you know, moved on to doing the second product, the third product, the fourth product, instead of just standing around doing nothing, all right? So I've seen this over and over again, and that's probably one of the biggest holdups and biggest mistakes that people make is they get so caught up trying to be a perfectionist, trying to do things perfect that they don't do anything. So don't let that happen to you. I'm telling you, there are millions of different product ideas that you can do on Amazon. Go grab one as long as it matches the specifications I gave you and then let's just move forward. All right, now as soon as you do that, the next step is going to be to get your product created. Right, we want to find what is called a manufacturer or a supplier, and that is basically a company that makes the products and they're going to slap our name or logo on it, and so that way we can sell it. And they're going to be able because they make they got like a warehouse that makes those products all day, every day, they got all the special equipment to do it, they can make the products for dirt cheap. You know, and we could turn around and sell it and make lots of money. So let's get into it, shall we? So here's one of the easiest ways to find good manufacturers, good suppliers, you know, people to make your stuff. Here's what you do. Go to Google, and then what I want you to do is just type in your keywords. Uh, like let's say, for example, cooking supplies or spatula. We could go here and type in spatula, and then what you wanna do next is you can type in the word wholesale. That's a good one, spatula wholesale. And if I do a search for this, <clears throat> you're gonna notice down here, look, a lot of different websites, globalsources.com, look, wholesale spatulas, you see that, dollar days, uh, spatulas wholesale on the right. And then look, fish spatulas. Source from HKTDC. Connect with over 120,000 suppliers. You see that? So we could open up that bad boy. <clears throat> you know, as you'll notice, so there are a lot of different websites here. EssentialWholesale.com. And yeah, look, custom wholesale spatula. Look, logoed spatulas. You see that down at the bottom? So those are also keywords that we can try typing in. Let's try custom wholesale. And look, right here at the top, Buy spatulas with your logo, branders.com. Let's open up that website. Spatulas with your logo on the right, kitchen spatulas. See that? So, I mean, as you can see from this website alone, or from that keyword alone, uh, we opened up Pandora's box and it showed us a lot of great things to check out. Spatula wholesale. Now, some other keywords you can try typing might be something like spatula private label. 
right here. So private label is, you know, another word for another term for white label. It just means that it's a company that can make the products for you and they're not going to advertise what their company is. So they're going to basically make you a spatula that's got, you know, that, that doesn't have any company name and they can usually put your logo on it. So uh, really, if you just type in spatula private label, look at all these different companies right here. You see this? All these different companies down here, DH Gate, um, Silicone, Private Label, etc. Gourmet Retailer, you see that? GourmetRetailer.com. Uh, Color Lab, Private Label Products, right there, you see it? So a lot of different, a lot of different ones, PrivateLabelBuyer.com. So let's check out some of these websites real quick and let's see what's going on over there. So let's dig into some of these websites. So this website right here is one of those I clicked on. It's called dollardays.com. I have never been here before, but let's scroll down. Wholesale Turner Spatula. So this thing has got 144 spatulas in this case. And usually when you buy in bulk like this, you can get it for a lot cheaper. Uh, but uh, look, they got a lot of different spatulas. They're talking about spoon spatula, silicone spatula, or silicon, whatever. Uh, cookie spatula, you see this? It's got a lot of different ones here that would be worth checking out. And look, they're even mentioning here that you can buy it for a lot less than 75 cents. They're saying that this thing was, uh, you could find this other places for 75 cents each, but with them, I'm guessing it's a lot cheaper than that. So, I mean, could you imagine like you getting one of those spatulas for like, you know, 50 cents each and then you turning around and selling it for 10 bucks? So, let's just click on the product details here and I just want to show you something. So, they're telling us a few things about this website. I forget where I saw it, but just a second ago it mentioned that yeah, uh, there's no minimum orders on this. So you could get, you know, low qual quantity, a good qu quality, but low quantity. So what I mean by that is you can do low minimums. So I could just order five spatulas or 10 spatulas. I don't have to order like 10,000 or something like that. So that's a very good sign. Uh, let's go to one of these other websites here. So this one is called branders.com. And look, this thing, you can do custom spatulas with your logo. See that? And they've got a lot of different spatulas here. You see this? Jar and bottle spatulas. You got the silicone spatulas. And look, let's click on this thing. These look like the exact same spatulas that, are being, uh, that were uh, for sale right now on Amazon and look these are very high quality and you can get your own logo put down here at the bottom you see that so look and the price you can get these for as cheap as a dollar 45 each you see that and remember we were just at Amazon and we know that these spatulas can sell for over five dollars more like 10 and we saw some of them there for like 13 dollars so now we know that we can get it for as cheap as a dollar 45. So, and we could add our logo very, very easily. So, very, very good stuff. Uh, very, very good stuff to know. So, this is what I'm showing you. You can literally get your own stuff created very, very easily. Right? Let's go to this next website here. This thing is called kitchenspatulas.com. Another one of those I just clicked on. Same thing. They've got a lot of different spatulas here, and you could put your own logo on it. See that? Look at all these different designs. Some of these are cheap. Look at this one. You could get this for as low as 62 cents each. This thing you can get as cheap as 56 cents each. You see that? This thing on the right, 51 cents each. So look, even if you sold that at like a dollar, then you would still be making over double the profit. But again, if something I'm only selling it for a dollar, that's still not really worth my time because when it comes to ship, by the time you go to ship, store, warehouse, it's just all that stuff's going to cost, you know, going to cost like have a really small fee, even if it's only like five, 10 cents to, you know, for this thing to, to uh, get warehouse and maybe like 50 cents for shipping or whatever the costs end up being. But all that to say, it's just gonna be a little too tight of margins. So I would rather take something like this and then sell it for like four, five, six dollars.
And that's all going to be profit. So look at this. This five-piece bamboo utensil set. You see how nice this is? So this thing is for sale right now for $7.88. And this is really nice uh, wood. So I'm sure that I could probably sell this on Amazon right now for maybe $15, 20 dollars and just slap my logo on it. You know, I could go right over to Amazon and check to see if they got any bamboo spatula sets that are for sale. So look, this is a really nice uh, spatula right here that is for sale for a, you can get it for a cheap, is $1.30. You see that? So, uh, and let's go to this other website here. This thing is called GourmetRetailer.com. And look, they've got a lot of different products here. This website, let me zoom in a little bit more. So, they got everything imaginable here everything your heart desires and if you click on these products there's some really really high quality ones look at this spatula right here with the cupcake design on it and all you know these great this great design below so a lot of these kind of products you could contact that company and ask them if they do a white label or the you know, white label or private label? Are you, Am I able to basically get your product and slap my logo on it and resell it? Okay? So that, that shows you that something as obscure as a spatula, you can, uh, you know, you could start promoting and you could start selling on Amazon. And I showed you exactly how to find, um, you know, where to get this stuff made. So that's just one example. One thing I will mention is when it comes to manufacturers and finding uh, suppliers, manufacturers, the thing is, is that most of these people's websites are going to be terrible because they're just not good at the internet. They're, you know, really behind the times. They don't know how to optimize their website or come up with good fancy ones. You know, they know how to make good products and that's it. So all that to say is that some of their websites might be a little confusing, they might be a little outdated, and you may even want to dig through a few pages on Google. So let's say, for example, uh, we'll, we'll type in a whole nother product idea here. We'll say something like body scrub wholesale, right? So let's say we're looking for a body scrub, because if we go over here to Amazon, I want to show you this one. If you go to Amazon, do a search for body Actually, if you just type in body brush was the name for it. So, you know, a lot of these products might be worth doing. Look, these are just no name brands. I've never heard Earth Therapeutics, uh, Fantasia. You got Yerba, Bernard Jensen. So, I mean, these are a lot of just unknown, look, Ecto Tools. And the thing is, this matches a lot of the other stuff we're talking about. It's very lightweight. It's unbreakable, at least in shipping, right? It's probably not going to break in half in shipping. But, uh, and and it matches a lot of the stuff we're talking about. So these body brushes might be good. So then we could just go to Google, type in body brush. We'll try that instead of body scrub. Body brush wholesale or body brush um, white label or private label or something like that. And look, you're going to find a lot of different companies here. You got new life systems right here, body brush kits, all these different ones. And like I was saying, what you might have to do is I would consider number one, you can look on the ads on the right, what's going on. And number two, you know, really look body brush manufacturers. You see this keyword? Oh, Body brush manufacturers. So that might be another great keyword to search. And like I was saying, go a few pages deep because a lot of these uh, manufacturers just don't know how to get their Google their uh, website on top of Google. So they might be buried in here. So I would just go through this list and see what jumps out of you. Let's go through a few of these real quick. So there you go. Bathessential.com. So you see how they got all these different products here. So let's try... One of these. So check this out, you guys. I want to point this out to you. So this website, bathessential.com, this looks like it's a manufacturer that makes these products and they can ship it out to you and you basically sell it. So there you go. So let's uh, look at some of these. We got, these are some mesh sponges. So look at how cheap you can get these for. You can get these for as cheap as 53 cents each. 
And then you could turn around and sell this thing for $4, $5, $6, something like that. And that's all going to be profit. Let's scroll down. Look, there's a brush right there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit better. So check it out, the brush right there. So look, you could start it out by uh, by buying like a small quantity. They're saying that you can buy one to five units. And if you buy you know a smaller quantity like that, they're, they are going to charge you a little bit more. Uh, but uh, if you buy a whole bunch, look at this, 48 and above, you can get this as cheap as $2. So again, it, let's say you're interested in doing this product. What I would recommend doing is starting out, you know, you might want to just buy a handful. Maybe buy something like, you know, one to five units or, you know, six to 23. Do something like that. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you can buy the smallest. That's fine just to get things started. Then what you can do next is, you know, once you start selling these and you get the hang of it, then, you know, and you got a lot of orders come in, then by all means, you can upgrade to get a bigger order, do like 48 and above, and then you're just making a lot more money because that's all profit for you. Right, because if you're selling this thing for seven bucks or something, and it only costs you two dollars each, and that you're going to be making some big money. You know, um, so look, as you, we can just go down this whole list. They got all this body care stuff, soap dishes. You see, I didn't even think about a soap dish, but look, this might be a really great product you can check out on Amazon. And uh, let's go check out a few other ones here. There we go. So this looks really good. So this thing is called bodycare.com. And this looks like some really high quality brushes. You see this? So what we can do is let's uh, click on dry body brushes. So really high quality looking brushes. This is exactly like what we're talking about here. Interested in this. And then what you could do is you can just contact her. Ask her about the wholesale prices. You know, ask her if she's doing wholesale, if she's doing white label, if she can put your logo on there. 